Pearson. He's managing editor for the newspaper, aka my boss. So um, we thought we'd do a fun section this week all about easy meals and crock pot cooking. So um, I, I have some. a question. Um, what? We've had this discussion in the newsroom about how much you hate crock pots. I don't hate crock pots. I just even to the point where I came up with a terrible no. nickname for you, Betty Crockpot. And so yeah, now I want to well, know why okay. you've seen the light on this glorious I am, I am implement in of culinary on destruction. Betty Crockpot mode today. So yes, this is actually one of my favorite Crockpot dishes. And I know you're not a big fan of. I'm going to call you out too, Crockpot barbecue. That's for North Carolina people yeah. to. So I got kung pao pork sandwiches, and it. In the sauce is some poison, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, brown sugar, and then you just put your pork roast in there, all the sauce ingredients on top, and you just let it go. And I put well, a lot it certainly of, looks delicious. Yes, thank you. I put a lot of sriracha in here, so I hope you like things spicy. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's your famous crock pot dish you got over here? Okay, well, um, many years ago, my nephew brought some queso to a family event, and mm -hmm. it was just so delicious, and, and I said, well, what's in it? And he said, well, it's the usual cheese and, and whatnot, but the secret ingredient is white wine. Oh, I thought that was for me. No, no. <laughs> this enjoy is, this is mine. So anyways, um, and so I- You've got the white queso, I noticed. Yeah, and you gotta go, you gotta go with the white, the white cheese. Velveeta very much. Always have to go with Velveeta. Yeah. And instead of using the usual Rotel, uh -huh. I go with the uh, Pico de, Pico de Gallo, which you can buy it fresh yeah. in mass well, let's quantities. Let's get some of that Pico in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make it spice it up a little bit. So, so we're going to get that mixed up a little bit and melt it down some and then we'll, um, we're going to plate up some queso and a nice sandwich for you for lunch. How about that? That is just, you've just made my day. Okay. Well, we've got our sandwich plated and the queso looks great. Yeah. I'll just eat the queso, you eat the sandwich. Well, look at the colors in there. I know. Where else are you going to find queso of this quality? Only at Brian's house. <laughs> So you can find this recipe in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv. Thanks for joining me, Brian. Thank you for having me.